Howdy there folks, my name's Steven and today on Bullets for Bucks we're going to be comparing the Weatherby Backcountry 2.0 Carbon in the Mark V receiver version against the Bergara Wilderness Ridge. Now it's important to note that the Weatherby is a 6.5 RPM and of course it comes in Weatherby cartridges or calibers and the Bergara is a 300 PRC. The Backcountry 2.0 comes with a 3D hex recoil pad that's like a skeletonized webbed recoil pad. It's quite stiff. It doesn't deform with storage like the first version did. Has a sling swivel stud, relatively traditional stock design here. Uh, hand laid carbon fiber made by Peak 44 stocks. Has a little bit fatter than traditional uh, palm swell though. All metal, bottom metal, Sarah coated with a floor plate. In this caliber, it's four plus one capacity has a trigger tech field trigger. I have replaced that, but the original trigger adjusts down to about two and a half pounds and has a curved trigger blade. Excellent single straight trigger. Has a all steel receiver, and you can get this in a titanium version as well. That's a little bit lighter. The recoil lug is integral part of the receiver, and this is front spot bedded with metal pillar bedding. So excellent bedding system, excellent quality receiver. On safe, it locks the bolt in place. Uh, obviously off safe, you can remove the bolt or fire at the firearm. Push in the trigger as you pull back on the bolt to remove the bolt. Can be a little bit tricky. Deep spiral fluted bolt here. Six locking lugs. It's not the nine lug Mark V version. And it has a Seco style extractor and a plunger ejector. Also a skeletonized bolt handle that's tactical in design. And this has a bolt lift of 54 degrees. It runs smooth, but initially it actually ran pretty rough and stiff has pretty tight tolerances, um, rougher than say a Tika or the Bergara, but it feels tighter. Coming forward, you have a fully free-floated BSF carbon fiber wrapped barrel, front sling swivel stud, and I would say like a medium contour forend. It's not overly fat or too thin. 24 inch barrel, not including the muzzle brake on this caliber selection, threaded 5 8 by 24, comes with a radial muzzle brake that is also Cerakoted. This rifle comes in at a weight of 5.9 pounds in this configuration and 46.5 inches long. Now let's take a look at the Bergara. You're probably like, well, that's not a Bergara stock and you're correct. I do have the original stock here and we'll be going over it as its original factory configuration. This is a Wux Furiosa chassis. All right, so let's take a look at the stock to start things off here. Comes with a polymer fiber reinforced stock, so much more plasticky than the Weatherby. About a one inch thick recoil pad, pretty stiff. Sling swivel stud, relatively traditional design. Slighter angle on the palm swell, and it's more of a narrow checkered palm swell. Has like a sticky rubberized feeling to the stock, which is kind of nice. It's like a uh, soft touch stock. Metal, metal pillar bedding to bed down that receiver in it. Comes with a floor plate, similar in design to the Weatherby, it's all metal, um, and capacity depends on the caliber selection. It has a front sling swivel stud, a little bit more narrow forend, um, and it, the barrel is free, fully free floated in the stock. But obviously the stock is a much cheaper design, much cheaper materials, and the rifle itself is cheaper. All right, now let's take a look at the barrel action of the Bergara. It has a push button side bolt release, which I actually prefer over the Weatherby cocked indicator. 90 degree bolt throw, it's Remington 700 pattern footprint on the Bergaras. This is the B14 action. Has a very nice polished bolt body, two locking lugs, plunger ejector, Sako style extractor, a claw extract, a little mini claw extractor, um, and a large tactical bolt handle on this version. On safe, it does not lock the bolt in place. That's something to note. But man, does this thing run smooth, super smooth. In some cases, as smooth or smoother than a Tika, T3X action. A Little bit sloppier feeling than the Weatherby, but much smoother. This features a Cerakoted receiver with a recoil lug sandwiched between the receiver and the barrel that sits in the recess of the factory stock. Cerakoted barrel. Varies in length depending on your caliber selection. This is a 24 inch barrel, comes with a radial muzzle brake, threaded 5 8 by 24. And this rifle in its factory configuration comes in at a weight of 7.9 pounds. It comes with a single stage Bergara adjustable trigger that is excellent. 
I do feel like the trigger tech trigger on the Weatherby is just a tiny bit better, but both are excellent triggers. Now let's go to the range and see how these performed. That's accurate. That one was right on top of the first one. There we go, hit. All right, now that we're back from the range, let's talk about the Weatherby. The Weatherby had some issues with factory ammunition initially with the brass getting stuck in the chamber. I'm not sure if there was a burr or a head spacing issue, but it's since resolved. Uh, Weatherby's customer service is excellent, and I was able to uh, harvest a caribou in Alaska with this rifle successfully, for, so go ahead and check out that video. This rifle is much lighter. Um, and that's something to take note. It's about a pound lighter. So it's inherently a little harder for me to shoot this accurate, accurately. And we used uh, a small sampling of factory ammunition out of both of these rifles. So I can't definitively say one is inherently more accurate than the other, but I got about one MOA out of the Weatherby and it was more difficult to shoot accurately in my experience. The Bergara is one of the most accurate 300 PRCs I've ever owned with factory ammunition, uh, certainly capable of half MOA groups or three quarter MOA groups, and it both come with a sub MOA guarantee. I didn't have any problems with this Bergara whatsoever. And if I was going to the range to shoot long range, I would pick the Bergara. If I'm going to hunt back country miles and miles in, I'm going to pick the Weatherby. The Weatherby obviously has a lot higher quality stock. The fit, feel, and visual appeal of it is nicer in my opinion. Hope you enjoyed this comparison of the Weatherby Backcountry 2.0 Carbon against the Bergara Wilderness Ridge. If money is an issue, also pick the Bergara Wilderness Ridge as it comes in at a much lower price point. Thanks for watching Bullets for Bucks. Check out this next video and subscribe.